Hey guys, Lou here with you real quick. Just wanted to show you how to run your own market reports and sign up for uh, monthly market reports using our new feature with the sold data. Uh, it's a pretty useful tool if you're trying to figure out what your house is worth and just want to keep track of real estate in Lake Havasu. Um, you can search and run and save searches by zip code, um, areas, and I'm also going to show you how to just look at your immediate area by drawing a polygon around your immediate neighborhood and just keep track of stuff in and around your street if you want. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, hang around, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, Lou back again with you. Just wanted to really quickly go over how you can start running your own market reports um, and drill down by zip code and even your own street if you want. So uh, obviously you have to be a, a registered user on the the site and you can do that just heading over to homesearchlakehavasu.com and signing up for an account up here in the top right hand corner pretty simple um, this is all new we just kind of rolled out the sold data had to jump through some hoops to get this data on our site but uh, we worked out some bugs I got it up it's updating properly and it's all a uh, very accurate data uh, so just wanted to really quickly just bear with me. Uh, I'm uh, just going through this for the first time with you guys. Uh, so let's just take a look and see what it looks like. So anywhere on this main page, uh, you're going to see uh, some links. I'm just going to start putting them down here. I'm working on it in the last couple days. Uh, so let's just pick one of these, the 30-day snapshot, and go check that out. And this is just for single-family uh, homes for the 30 days. And basically... If you look at the report, and let me just show you the report real quick, it shows you the active properties, um, and you can see there's 643 single-family homes for sale in Lake Havasu uh, right now. Obviously, these are just listed. Um, and if you scroll down a little more, you're going to see the properties under contract. It's going to show you 10 each, and obviously be below each table, you're going to see, uh, obviously, it says showing 10 of 26, view all, and you can go ahead and do that if you like. Uh, these are under contract, okay, and I'll show you the days on market, the cost per square foot, and we won't know the closed price until it actually closes escrow and that data is made public. But, you know, this gives you a good idea of what's selling uh, out there. <clears throat> Here is the sold data for this 30-day 30, 30 snapshot, and so you'll see the days on market. This one's sold in a day, so it's probably had a pocket buy or something. And so you can kind of look at this when it's sold, the list price versus the uh, the sold price, and it's been pretty consistent at about 97%. Uh, some of these are going for full pop, obviously. Uh, so you can it just gives you a really quick overview, um, an 88 days average uh, days on market. Now I also put out a little more detailed uh, market overview about once a month. Uh, so if you are on my list, you're getting those as well. So let's just go um, to the top, and I'll show you how to create your own. So we're just going to click on this where it says Create Your Own Market Report, and that's going to take you to the what looks like the MLS search page, um, but we're doing a sold data, and it'll bring up this, which isn't available in the MLS search. So let's just do uh, last six months, and let's do... Uh, just the north part of Lake Havasu and just kind of see what's going on. So if you click this, and you can just kind of look at it. And this obviously is just for the north uh, part of town. And just kind of scroll through the data and see what, what's going on out there. So it's a pretty useful tool. Um, you can also, you know, it looks right. You know, you can always fill in your, your information here and get a... Uh, an instant uh, home value for your house and obviously it's just going to be a range but it'll give you an idea if it's a good time to sell or not or you could just call me and I'll let you know uh, for sure so if you want to just save this you just come up here and get save and get monthly reports and uh, put in your name and just if you're, you're ready to go, you know, and you're, you're real active, you can do daily. I would probably suggest if you're a little ways out just to do monthly reports just so you're not bombarded, especially if you're already on my list and getting property updates. Um, you don't want to bombard you with email. So anyway, so you can, you can save, save your preferences there and that uh, will take care of that. So that's really how you do the, the market reports. 
I'm going to show you something really quick uh, if you want to drill down even further. If you go up to MLS search, okay, and you run a sold search, okay, this is a little bit different. So if you go up here and run a sold search, it's going to say uh, show solds only. And then you can come down here and do a map search, okay? And what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to draw a polygon around a certain area that interests you, okay? So say, let's just scroll in here. Say you live up in and around here, and you want to see what's going on with the market just in your immediate area here. So you just keep clicking. Every time you click, it'll draw a point, and you got to close the loop when you're done, and that's that. So basically, it pulls up data only for this area, so you can see the sold data just in your area. And when you save this search, it's going to automatically generate a market report for you. Okay, so you're going to get this report. Um, in your email okay so this will help you keep track of you know what's going on in your immediate area which is pretty cool you know I mean uh, if I was thinking about selling this is exactly what I would do I would kind of see what's going on before I called a realtor just to see if you know what else what what else is going on and then when it was uh, got time to get serious you know I would call me, <laughs> and, you know, get your your house value and uh, start the start the process going. So, anyways, I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, always feel free just to uh, reach out to me and give me a call and, and let me know what I can do to help. You can always uh, go and get your your home's value uh, at the bottom of almost every page on the site. If you're curious about what your home's worth in today's market, um, you can always check that out and. Um, It'll give you a, a pretty pretty accurate value I have found. Uh, so anyways, hope that helps. Have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you soon.